Do you have a DYU D1 and it's too pokey? Well, I did and I figured it out. I figured it out. So as I've been teasing for the past couple of years, I finally got some aftermarket controllers made for the DYU D1. I'm gonna check and see if this fits on some other ones. It should fit on the Jetson Bolt, but as far as other DYU bikes, it should have the same pinout for the motor and should plug right in color to color sensor wire to sensor wire and then you will need to you know i would suggest you supply a better battery pack so what i wanted for my bike for this little bitty dyu d1 is something that was faster with more torque to go up hills and to carry heavier weight even though i'm not that heavy sometimes i wear a backpack and to tell you the truth the stock setup with like 20 pounds in the backpack it was noticeable this thing was pokey and it took forever to get the mile point two for to the hobby house back to the shop it was useful, great for the last mile, I suppose, but pretty pokey. So we have this aftermarket controller. We will be selling these through Grow and Throw. I'll put a link down below for it. Plugs right in, but what you need is a better battery pack. We come with an XT90 connector on here. And what I would recommend because it fits right in is the Mighty Mini from LunaCycle. As of today filming, they have these in stock. They come with an XT60 with or XT90 with the anti-spark. Look at here, we plug it right in. And now this is actually on. So this is more of a DIY, DIY, DYU kit. And now it goes. It's also faster, uh, somewhere between, I don't know, 16 and 20 miles an hour. This little thing is uh, dangerous feeling at the speed. I also haven't charged this battery pack since I purchased it. So I'm not exactly sure what the top speed really is, but it is, it's dangerous for this guy and there's way too much torque. Although with the sine wave controller, it's really smooth and easy to apply the torque. So it doesn't do a bunch of wheelies out from underneath you. This will come with the throttle and you will need to provide a battery for yourself and figure out how to wire it. Yes. So I'm going to just cut some holes in the side of my case, have the power wires coming out up here. I think, you know, just a hole in the side of that case cover. Once I pop it back on, this will have to go right here for it to close. And I will end up fishing this wire through the frame, just like the old one did. You know, I replaced it the throttle once already and I fished it through, made it look really nice. And now I got to replace the throttle again. So my recommendation is when you take out any of the old wires, you use them as your fish, pull another wire through and then use that second wire to fish backwards in the other direction. But this will all fit inside here. You'll want your charger plug to be available somewhere. You will want your battery plug to be available somewhere. Could be just a hole on the side of the case. That's what I'm going to go for. And then when it's plugged in, it's on. When it is unplugged, it is off. And that's it. But you will then have a nice speedy DYU. And what better way to showcase it? I'm going to shove this right here so it doesn't actually fall out while I'm riding. You can see the wiring mess. This one is not completed, but you can see what's going on inside. I've taken the stock controller out, replaced it with a new one, and replaced the battery with a Mighty Mini 52 volt, six amp hour battery from Luna Cycles. I estimate that this will probably be about 10 miles of range. I haven't fully tested it yet, but it depends on the load. It depends on your weight. It depends on uphill, downhill winds, your average speed, all sorts of things. So. We'll just do a couple of laps here. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's not so bad. This is very controllable, but it has lots of speed. Er, woo! Yeah, real controllable. Just uh, be careful. It takes a, a little bit of time for the throttle to react to make it smooth. But that reaction time is it's kind of nice. <laughs> oh yeah oh she's fast enough she is definitely too fast so this controller does work with anything from a 36 volt battery up to a 52 volt battery if you want speed like this, go 52 volt. I know that this pack fits right in the frame, so that's what I'm gonna recommend, but be careful. You saw the speed on this. This is a high handlebar setup. It is not stable. It is not something for the faint of heart. And if you don't have experience riding bikes kind of aggressively, then 
maybe go with 48 volts or maybe go with 36 volts and just get extra torque from it instead of also extra speed. If you do have any comments about the setup, leave your comments down below. I will do my best to get to them. And if you want to see me clean up the wires on this, if you need some ideas for it, then again, let me know and I will shoot another video for it. But if you want this combo and you're not experienced in electronics, I honestly don't recommend it. This is for somebody who's willing to avoid some warranties. So keep that in mind. But otherwise, the hub motor's taking it very well. It doesn't even warm up for me. And I'm about eh, 165 pounds. so. Keep that in mind. As always, thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.